Morning. Uh, today is Model Y Delivery Day. I don't know if I'm excited or not. On the one hand, I am. On the other, I'm stuck here waiting for the delivery to arrive. So I think there's going to be a lot of uh, staring out the window wistfully, waiting for my delivery to arrive. That no, still not here. Hopefully. It'll be here sooner rather than later, because I really, really want to get into it. So there's going to be a nice, long, slow build-up, after which an intense period of immense excitement, put it off the lorry, and as soon as it's unloaded, a great deal of satisfaction. I'll check back in once it gets here. She's here. A day late, but she's finally here. And of course, the very first thing I've done is put her on charge, 50% battery. I'm really no good at walking backwards. Perfect condition, no quibbles whatsoever. She's rather lovely. But it's important to do the same as with any new car. It's really important that you do a new vehicle inspection because you want to make sure it's in perfect condition. Because if it's not, if it's serious, you need to reject it and don't sign for it. If it's minor, you can get your leasing company or the dealership to sort it out for you. In this case, I've done an inspection, there's nothing wrong. But let's just take a quick walk around and look at the sorts of things that you should be looking for. Hopefully you won't find anything. But we'll see. She's very pretty. The very first thing you need to do is actually check to make sure it's your car. So in the, bottom right, in the bottom corner here you've got the VIN number, you're just going to check that to make sure it is what you are expecting, and of course the license plate as well. We're then going to check the vehicle itself, and things that Teslas can have been notorious for in the past, and quality is improving I have to say, and that's the panel gaps. So we're actually going to start with the front here, so we're going to check this gap that runs all the way down, and make sure that it's nice and even all the way. And as you can see there, no problems. It's nice and flush, no issues there. The same with the trunk. And of course, all side doors. And again, I've already plugged it in and charged, but you can see that there. Nice and even, all the way around. Very even and match. Same at the bottom, and again, around the top. While you're there, check the lights. Again, you just want to make sure that they're flushing with the body. Don't stick out at all, and we'll do that all the way around. And the same with the charge port, which is always on the left-hand side, no matter which market you're on. You want to make sure that this, when this closes, is flush with the body as well. I have already done that, but obviously can't do it from here. So paint condition. This is the fun one. You want to make sure that all the paint's intact. There are no weird scratches and scrapes and things like that, especially as you get down here onto the underside. No, it's good. There are a couple of little bubbles in the PPF wrapping that they put on the back quarter panels. They do to protect the stone ships flicking up from the bubble coming up and walloping. So I've already put in a search request for the back, which I'm going to be dealt with next week. Yeah, all looking good. No, no thing to be worried about. 
obviously the wheels, you just make sure they're free from scratches. Make sure there's no, no scuff marks or anything like that. Underneath there. Yeah, I work on the busiest industrial estate in the world. Constant noise. Absolute constant noise. So that's what we need to make sure everything is working. So we're just going to pop the trunk. It goes up nicely, reasonable speed. Give it a shove. And we're going for going down. That locks in fine. There's no looseness there. Same again with the doors. Again, inspect the insides of your car. Make sure there's nothing there that shouldn't be. And when it closes, this window pane should move up gently. Just like that. Turn the back door. Yeah. And then do the same around the other side. There's definitely a light there. That's all right. So at night time that will be nice and dark. While you're in the front, just make sure that these panels are secure and not loose. Which we wash the cup. That's it. Now we're gonna close it like that. Very gently. Check out your glass. I realise it might be quite difficult to do the roof panel but just check all the way around the edges, make sure it's, again, make sure it's even, make sure there's no stress marks, crack marks, scratches, or anything like that, all the way across. It's three separate pieces, front, middle, and back. And again, as long as it all looks good, it should be okay. And again, that's pretty much the outside inspection done. And now we're going to move on to the inside. Let's have a real quick look at everything. Make sure everything is as it should be. Nice and solid. No trim pieces popping off anywhere. Turn the console tray. Yeah, nothing in there looking broken. That's always good. Steering wheel, all good, nice and solid, nothing loose in the middle, trim panels, same with the doors, give her, just give everything a little bit of a shove, make sure it's all solid, make sure everything is as you expect it to be, and then do that all the way around. Next you're going to need to get in. Oh. I know the charge pin. We're going to close the door. It probably won't let me go into reverse. That charge cable is connected to the vehicle. Let's go to the camera app. Cameras are working fine. That's the rear. That's the left. That's the right. That's all good. No worries there. No error messages on the screen whatsoever. Obviously, except the fact that charge cables plugged in. Check all four windows to make sure they're rolled down and up properly. So the window controls are sitting here. So if we the shelf. reverse. They're all good. Windshield wipers. They're all good. Side mirrors, you need to make sure that these guys fold in. So on our controls here, you're just going to tap fold mirrors. Then on here, you can just control on the steering wheel, right to down to left to right, and that will have a direct adjustment. I think you can just about see that in the distance now. So you can get it up to wherever you want it to be most comfortable. Make sure the horn works. Rear view mirror. Yep, that's definitely a mirror. That's definitely a, yep, that's definitely a mirror. Yeah. And make sure there's no warping or distortion on it. Uh, 
much there isn't, that's all looking good. Sun visor is magnetic. Right, you see that? Clips in there, unfold, refold, wipe up, drop down. A little bit there, light should come on, and when you put it out, the light should go off. Light goes off, light goes off, light goes off, light goes off. Same with passenger side. Light goes on, light goes off, light goes on, light goes off. Good. We do have a little diddly lights in the ceiling. Hazard lights. Perfect. Centre console we've already done, in theory you should give that a shove and that should close up nicely. Nice big deep tray in the middle with a little kind of courtesy light in it by the looks of it as well. Steering wheel control lights, I've enabled these, I'm assuming it's just that they illuminate. Yeah, yeah, yep, they illuminate, cool. This is a dual wireless phone charge pad. I don't have a phone that can that does that properly, so I can't do that. Where's my sketchpad? There's my sketchpad. Literally just going to stare at this for a minute. You just want to make sure that there's no dead pixels, black marks, or anything like that, and it's just a pure white display all the way across. Because when it's, when it's delivered, now is the time to sort people out and this sort of thing. Okay, the other thing to do is to test the emergency releases. On your door here, this is your door release. What you do is to do very gently, not sharply, is pull on this. From the other side. This is your emergency release for the door. So very gently, you're going to pull on it. Watch the car complain. Um, and then that's fine. In the back are these little lights, but this is also a da -da -da coat hook as well. Doubles up as two. And there we go, we've already paired the phone. So it's done. That's it, the car is done. There's obviously a lot more to do inside. Yes, if I move the location back to where it was at the start of the video. Um, you need to set up a centre screen, set up all your preferences to how you want them, etc, etc, etc. But apart from that, the only thing you really need to do is get in and drive it. So do it. Have fun. Get out there on the road. Put your foot down. Get whiplash. Etc. And I dare say I'll be back with another video very soon in which we'll do a deep dive onto everything that's on that centre screen setting everything up to your own preferences and making it a bit more yours still not 100% sold on the white though might wrap it